welcome, Bronx Country. Uh, it's another historic day uh, here at the University of Texas Pan American. On Friday, we named uh, our head men's uh, basketball coach, Dan Hipsher. And today, uh, we name our head women's basketball coach, uh, Larry uh, Tidwell. Uh, very excited to um, have Coach Tidwell here in the Valley. Um, you know, we've had a lot of firsts uh, this year from entering the Western Athletic Conference to starting two new soccer programs to now hiring two new basketball coaches. As I indicated Friday, this has been a very, uh, very uh, expedited search, uh, 18 days, two head coaches. We've had a lot of help uh, throughout that process, very, very deep pool of candidates on both the men's and women's side. And I can tell you, um, in my career, you know, there are certain, certain times in your career uh, when, when there's a professional accomplishment. And I was telling Coach Tidwell on the way over here, today's one of those days. Uh, for the University of Texas Pan American to hire someone with his background, his experience, uh, and his ability to win basketball games, uh, it's a great day to be a Bronc, and we're very excited uh, about having Coach Tidwell here. I'd be remiss if I didn't thank a number of individuals. I know I'm uh, probably going to echo a little bit of the same statements that I, that I talked about on Friday, uh, but the search committee, the advisory board for me uh, throughout this process on, on both searches was crucial. Uh, they did a great job in uh, really serving uh, and going through those uh, candidate pool, making reference calls, and doing a lot of the, the dotting the I's and crossing the T's that, that it takes to be able to get a search done in 18 days. Some of the search committee members I'd like to thank, Jim Board and Tony De La Pena, committee members who served and advised on that. Thank you, uh, Jim and Tony. Members of my staff, Andrew Herring, Farah Monti, uh, as well as Ophelia Lopez, and then our faculty athletic rep, Dr. Fred Ernst. I appreciate uh, everything that each of you did uh, in that very short uh, time compacted uh, search that we went through. I also like to uh, thank our human resources department. Uh, as I said on Friday, we received hundreds of phone calls, hundreds of emails, and hundreds of applications. Uh, they got bombarded uh, just as much as we did in athletics, and they did a fantastic job in really helping us um, get this process moving along and, and finalizing both searches, and I can't thank them enough, so I would like to thank our HR department. Uh, most importantly, uh, I'd like to thank our president, Dr. Robert Nelson. Uh, I think everybody knows I gush over him all the time, not because he's my boss, but because he is unbelievably supportive of intercollegiate athletics. We've come a long way uh, in the past four years, and a lot of that is due to his leadership. I can tell you right now, both head coaches, uh, I'd like to say that I kind of sealed the deal, but we did it together. He articulates the vision of this university like no one else. At this time, I'd like to turn it over to our president to say a few words on behalf of the university. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you get darn lucky, and sometimes you get really, really lucky. <laughs> um, and I don't think it's luck. I really don't. I think uh, sometimes you, you end up being blessed. Every one of us who works at Pan Am or gets to go to this university or is able be able to be part of this university, or if you graduated from this university, you really are blessed. Because you've got a great education, you're in doing something that's important, you're changing people's lives, and you're transforming the entire university and the entire valley. You can't ever do it alone. And sports is a very important part of what we're trying to do in this valley as we try to transform the valley. If we don't get the notoriety, if people don't know who the Bronx are, we're not going to have people attending this university. We do everything we can to get everybody to come onto this campus to this visitor center. We put up all sorts of uh, events here. We do everything we can, but sports, thanks to the dumb sports guy and to the rest of everybody else. Sports, we're on five times a week. We're getting our name out there so that we can get heard. We're getting our name out there so people know what it means to be a Bronx and they want to come here. And every student that we get on the campus that goes to that gym is one more student that we're going to help graduate and bring them forward. It takes special coaches to pull people in. Coach 
Tidwell is a special coach. I don't know very many coaches who can say, I've never had a losing season. I mean, that's unheard of. I don't think anybody even knew where Lamar and Beaumont was, basketball-wise, until he showed up there. And they're missing him right now. And he's going to put us on the map in the same way. And we will be going and winning conferences because he knows how to do it, because he's driven. For the women players that are here, get ready to work because he's going to bring discipline and he is going to bring honor and he is going to bring integrity. He's going to run, he has run a clean program always. And coaches out there, and I see some of the coaches, expect him to be in your gyms because he's going to come and see you and he's going to work with you and he's going to bring camps to the valley that we haven't had that big before. When I first met him, I'd watched him coach against us down in, in Corpus and he'd always beat us down there and that hurt, you know. But when I first met him, you knew he was the guy. You knew that he was the right guy. Why? He talks more than Chris does. <laughs> and that's the first guy I've ever known that talks more than Chris does. <laughs> and we knew that I had somebody that would be able to keep Chris, you know, just in doing what Chris needs to do. I'm really grateful for Chris and what he did. And, and in doing this search. I'm really grateful to HR. I'm really grateful to everybody else because we got a coach. And the interesting thing is, he wants to be here. He wants to be part of the valley. He wants to be in the valley. He wants to stay here. We'll win with him. And coach, I can't wait to be at the games and I'll be yelling for you and I'll be yelling for our players, and I'll let somebody else yell at the refs. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You know, I think we've articulated this on a number of occasions. You know, our number one goal, we want to be hanging whack championship banners. We want to compete on a national level. And with today's hiring, we're able to do that. Uh, very, very excited. Uh, we're going to take that dynamic next step in the WAC next season, and we're going to do it with Coach Tidwell at the helm. I can't tell you how excited we are. We conducted a national search. Uh, like I said, it was a very, very deep pool. We identified our number one candidate very early on, and we were able to get him. Uh, I would tell you that he has an unbelievably proven track record. Uh, here's a guy um, that has, for the last six years at Lamar, become the winningest coach in the history of Lamar University. He's been in the postseason three of the last four years. And I'll tell you a quick story on how we got him. I'm in the, about two weeks ago, I'm in the baseball, President's Baseball Suite, and uh, Jody Nelson says to me, she's behind my back, she's telling me a story. I'm exhausted. It's been a long day. I've been going, making all these phone calls and getting phone calls. And uh, she says, there's a guy, I had a call from a colleague, they recommended this guy named Larry Tadwell or Larry Toddwell. And I turned around and I looked at her. I said, do you mean Larry Tidwell? And she said, yeah, that's a name from Lamar. I said, oh, he's one of the most successful coaches in the state of Texas. He won't be interrupted. She goes, no, he really is. I said, I'll call him first thing Monday morning. And then I got on phone call after phone call after phone call. And I get this call about noon from a 409 area code. And I had just talked to Pat Knight, the head men's coach, on Friday prior with about Dan Hipsher, our, uh, our, our new head men's basketball coach. And, so I assumed it was Pat when I answered the call, and it was Coach Tidwell. And I can tell you by the end of that call, I called Dr. Nelson right away, got him out of a meeting, and I said, I believe very strongly we got our next head women's basketball coach. Because as energetic and enthusiastic as I can be at times, Coach Tidwell here, literally, I felt like his hand was coming through the phone with a pen ready to sign the contract. <laughs> he fits exactly the profile that we were looking for when we started this search. Here's a guy who's one of the most recognized coaches in the state of Texas. He's been coaching in the state of Texas now for 38 years. His record is 412 wins, 131 losses as both a high school and college coach. That's a 75% winning percentage. 
He averaged 23 wins, and if I want to get technical for the media guys, 22.9 wins over the last six years at Lamar University. That's phenomenal. He's recruited. He's held coaching clinics at 37 different countries. He's been a, a recruit, the head recruiting guy uh, when he was assistant coach at University of Baylor, as well as when he was the associate head coach at TCU. He's got a long list of accomplishments. But what is the most impressive is who he is. Okay, he is an unbelievable individual. He cares more about those student athletes than almost probably any coach I think I've ever met. And it exudes out of him and his personality and, and how he feels. I cannot wait for him to be able to get out there on that practice court with our, with our young women on the women's basketball team. Uh, academics comes first, community service. I think they did over 1,000 community service hours last year alone. That's exactly the profile we're looking for in our next head women's basketball coach. With that said, I would like to introduce everybody here in this room to the next head women's basketball coach at the University of Texas Pan American and the newest Bronc head coach, Larry Tidwell. Sort of just like my mother wrote it. Thank y'all <laughs> for doing that. But uh, before before I say anything, uh, coming to UT Pan Am was a, it was a great decision for me in the short term and long term. Because again, one of the, one of the one of my really close friends is here today, and I appreciate you, Renee Garza. And, and, and Renee has shared with me many a times over the last 30 years we've known together the vision of the valley and what the valley is possible, all the possibilities in the valley. And that's one of the main reasons I'm here. Uh, I coached in Schulenburg High School right up 77. We came to the valley and, and the valley is really special to me. I had some athletes in Schulenburg that went to uh, UT Pan Am and uh, really had a great experience. So I, I've been familiar with it. But before I go any further about anything I've done or anything, at Lamar University, I worked for an unbelievable president, Dr. Jimmy Simmons, and I want to thank him and the legendary Billy Tubbs hired me to come to Lamar and gave me my first shot at being a head coach at the Division I level. I'd been doing it at the high school level and had been successful, but at the Division I level, it's a whole, whole, different, whole different ball of wax. And, and, and the friendships and the boosters and everything that I had at Lamar were unbelievable. The faculty, got to know the faculty, the staff, administrators, and I wanted to thank particularly Dr. Simmons and, and Billy Tubbs, and in particular, you know, Jason Henderson, the present AD, has done a fantastic job there. But, but special relationships of Steve Rockerford, who really helped me as a coach when I first went to Lamar, and Pat Knight. They were very, very special to me, and I appreciate them. But the number one thing that I appreciate besides all of the assistant coaches that work with me are the players. It's all about the players. I'm sitting up here today or standing here today because of the players. As a coach, 38 years, Renee, how many points have I scored? None. Rebounds, none. Assists, steals, it's about your players. And I try to group everything about my players. Uh, I'm, we won 22 ball games last year. We were in the WBI and leaving a team that will have three and a half starters back. I mean, the, the young lady that's going to be the point guard next year will be phenomenal. I mean, I left a really good team. It was a hard decision. But there's a plan for every one of us. And the plan for me at this point in my career is the Valley. And it's UT Pan Am. And with the vision, and like I said, when I came and visited with Chris, I mean, he, he has energy plus. He's the energizer bunny times five. I mean, and I appreciate that. I really do. And he's made me feel welcome. But when I sat across that table and, and got to look our president in the eye and 
learned of his vision, this was, a, this was a good decision for me and my family to come here because the president, you're as only as good as your administration wants you to be. And I've preached that many times. And that's, that, it doesn't matter what level you're at. You're as only as good as your administration wants us to be. Dr. Nelson wants us to be very good. And that is why I'm here. And again, as I try to do what I do, it's, it's going to be about our players, but our players, we're going to be involved in the community. We're going to be involved. I mean, we're going to be knee deep in the community. We need to make a difference. Our team needs to make a difference, not only on the court, but in the classroom. We need to make a difference out in the community. Community service is so important. If we as coaches do not teach our young people to give back, then where are we going? And, and I believe in that. And, Again, I, I go back to my days at Lamar. That's something that Dr. Simmons and that's something that Dr. Nelson, that's what we talk about that we believe in. And that's what I want to bring is, is an, another, another person that's going to help the vision of, of our president. And I'm going to try to do the very best I can. And for, for the exciting style of play, we like to get up and down the floor. We like to press, we like to trap, we like to do a lot of different things. We will be entertaining to watch, but we're also going to be a team that, that is going to be very passionate and very committed. And, and like I said, I've been very fortunate, especially the last six years at Lamar, to have just great players who were great young ladies in first class in every form and fashion, and that's what, that's what will be here. And I, I see I got my point guard right here. That's good. That's good. You got, you got to, if you don't have a good point guard, you're in trouble. So. That's what we got. But I, again, it's a, it's a pleasure to be at this. This is very exciting. You know, one of the things I talked to Chris about that really that got my juices flowing, that really got me thinking was the uh, Midnight Madness. I heard that is really special. And see, that I like stuff like that. I, I really enjoy things like that. And, and to make, you know, to have, to have basketball be very, very instrumental in what your university is about. You know, it's like athletics. It's another window to look at your university. And uh, like I said, I learned from a lot of great people. And it's a, it's a very emotional time for me to leave a situation that I really love. But it's also very exciting for me to accept a challenge. And I'm all about challenges. And I'm up, I'm up for the challenge to turning this program into a consistent winner. And that's what I'm here for. Now. I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> I'm excited. I mean, I'll field questions. I'll do anything that you, like the media, uh, the media is going to help us win. And we've got to get positive things out there. I, I walk in and I see our cheerleaders. I see our drill. They were so instrumental into us winning at Lamar. Because uh, when you have your students involved and you have your peers involved, it's special. I know how hard y'all work. I was an athletic director for a year and a half at Lamar, and it was a great time for me. And I got to know those cheerleaders, got to know the band, got to know the drill team. And those, those young people work hard, and we appreciate what you do. And y'all being here means a lot to me. Yeah. And it's all, and it's all, about, the, it's all about the Valley, us all uniting to make this one of the most powerful universities in this part of the country. And that's what I'm, that's what I want to help our president. That's what I want to help our athletic director do. And plus, I better win some ball games. <laughs> I know that. I know that. But there's any questions at all? Oh, we're going to do it after? Oh, my fault. I didn't, I didn't read the script. My fault, Chris. <laughs> I got to do that better. But again, thank you for being here. This is, this is really cool. I appreciate that. And I appreciate one other thing. I appreciate my family. I appreciate my wife, Teresa, and my family for letting me make this decision because it was a big decision for us. Thank you very much. It's awfully exciting to have a head coach that wants to be in the Rio Grande Valley and part of UT Pan Am. And I can tell you, the president and myself, when we left him at dinner, um, and we went back and we talked late that night. I mean, we just started seeing the vision for the future with women's basketball. And it has 
I mean, it is just going to be an unbelievable next couple of years, and, and I can't tell you how excited we are. For the member of the media, uh, Coach Tidwell, Dr. Nelson, and myself will be available for any additional questions you have uh, afterwards. Um, everyone here, I'd, I'd, I'd ask you to stick around and, and spend some time with Coach Tidwell. He's about as genuine a person as you'll ever meet. And I think you really enjoy to get to know him. Um, I'd like to finalize by thanking everybody for your constant and continuing support of Bronco Athletics. It's been a very exciting year, as I said in the beginning. And uh, we got the Western Athletic Conference on July 1st, 2013. And we now have the right leaders right now that are head men's and head women's basketball coach. Thank you. Hey, I'm not saying this, and I'm just I try to remember everything, but I'm going to tell you, we have a, a, a big time coach in Dan Hitcher coming in. And, and I'm, I know both sides, the men and the women, highly respected, and he is very, very well known throughout the country. He'll, he'll do a great job here, also, and I can't wait to get to work with Dan. We're going to talk a lot of X's and O's. Thank you. Okay, let's show him how it's done, everybody, to your feet. On three. One, two, three. Go for us! <laughs>